Now, you know, we study about the great Indus civilization, but that's in time and place. It's in history. It's not eternal. The Rishis discovered something amazing. The entire cosmos is also present as every particle, every location in time and place. So the macro is also the same thing as the micro. The whole cosmos is present in our bodies. It's present externally in society. So there's a mirror effect. As the big, so also it's reflected in the tiny. This is a very interesting macro, micro principle, very central to the entire Vedic tradition. And it has the following significance. When you want to understand the cosmos, you can take any object, and if you meditate enough on it, if you dwell enough on it, if you do your tapasya and your puja enough on it, you can actually discover for yourself the entire cosmos. This is why we have the whole deity practice, because a deity is the micro presence of the macro. The Supreme Person is present in a certain form so that it is more accessible, more friendly, you can say more user-friendly. And this immediate access of the divine in a micro form is our practice of the deity worship. The same way the Tantra people discovered the macro in their own bodies. They discovered that through certain practices, everyone can discover this. So you don't need a priesthood in the middle. The priests are coaches and they are useful, but many great exemplars have attained this knowledge for themselves just through precise observation. So the purpose of yoga, the purpose of meditation is to attain the stillness, attain the stillness such that this is self-revealed to each of us. We don't, have, we don't really need books. Books are nice. Shastras exist. They are the great texts. They are nice. They are very helpful. Teachers are very important. Gurus are very important. But actually, if a person has none of these, and if all of these got destroyed for some reason, you can always rediscover the same truth because this truth is present in every single particle, in every moment in time, in each one of us. And this presence of the Supreme in each one of us is what we also call Satchitanand. Truth, consciousness, and bliss. With these three at the core, let's find out how deep are the roots of the philosophy of this inspiring civilization.